Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. And today I'm going to share with you how my tackle addiction continues to get worse by going over some of my recent custom made additions. You know, you guys know how much I like tackle and how much I really do have an addiction. When I see something that I like, I tend to, to buy it with the idea that maybe this will help me in my professional career and help secure a win down the road for me. Plus, I just love playing around with different baits because I do feel like a lot of times your custom bait makers are the ones that are paving the way. So if you can get in early, uh, you can kind of get a bait to yourself for a while before they become a little bit more mainstream. So I want to talk about a couple of these that I've added to the collection recently because I do feel like, well, one, I've proven that they catch fish for me, uh, and two, I think they're worth the money because one, one issue you run into with custom lure stuff is if you don't know somebody that's tried some of these, a lot of times you can buy something that you end up not really liking or some of the baits can be very fickle in terms of how you use them and they're just much more user intensive when it comes to using them versus just kind of being an, an all around good bait that doesn't require the angler skill to make the bait be as productive as it should be. Uh, obviously angler skill helps a bait become productive, but a lot of times if the bait has that it factor, the bait alone can generate a lot of bites. So all of these that I'm going to talk about are ones that uh, recently I've purchased and been very pleased about none of this is not paid promotion these are just ones that i've come across that i really like and i wanted to share with you so let's start with the first one so this is a cool bait called an easy e so this okay so i guess i'm not even a hundred percent sure who makes these there's a site on instagram called extreme lure creations that's where i get them from uh, but I believe there's also, they're made by Mag Lures. I think it's kind of like a collaboration between Mag Lures and Extreme Lure Creations. Not 100% sure. I apologize for not knowing the complete detail, but because I bought it just off of the Instagram page, I can't tell you specifically how it's done. But the cool thing with these is I believe they're made based off of a bait that's been around for a long period of time that's been catching a pile of fish down in your blueback herring lakes like the georgia area like lake lanier and like hartwell those types of places uh so when i saw it first off i really liked the paint job on it but i was like well i go to a lot of those blueback herring lakes but more than anything what i found is a lot of your blueback herring lakes the baits that you use on them like this guy or like your your uh, bull, sh bull herring, I think is what it was. The, the bull shad has a bull herring. Those baits excel really well for smallmouth. Uh, you, when you find a long slender profile that you can burn across the surface, you'd be amazed at how good the smallmouth up in my neck of the woods love them. So not just say your spotted bass or your largemouth down in the herring lakes region, but the smallmouth love them. And this easy E is one that I've had really good luck with now. I've been playing around with it. Oh, I mean, I have, this is out of all of these. I've probably had this since last fall, but caught a lot of really nice smallmouth on it. Uh, and I've have played around with it down on some Southern lakes and had good luck as well. So this is one that's, I would highly recommend very cool, kind of smaller profile lure generates a lot of interest, generates a lot of bites. The other thing I like about it, in the springtime, it's one of those baits that does have drawing power. So you can burn it and the fish will come look at it. They may not commit to it, but you can see where they're at and then throw in a wacky rig or something slower. Uh, but it generates a lot of bites. So check that guy out. And I'll put links uh, to either a website or to say their Instagram page. So if you guys wanna go support small custom bait makers, check them out there. Okay, another one you guys, have seen me talk about this guy in the past. So Lagrady Lures, one of my absolute favorite glide bait makers. Uh, they're very unique sound to it. They're different running baits. They generate a ton of interest from the fish, but they came out originally with their donut and they've stuck with the uh, pastry theme because after the donut, they came out with a little bit smaller size which they call their shortcake. So I've got a whole bunch of these. Now in Wisconsin, I gotta tell you, like I use a lot of, I play around with a lot of glide baits 
uh, in the Wisconsin area. Generally speaking, I like the bluegill profiles better. Now, when I say bluegill, I don't want a true bluegill, but I want something a little bit more shad shaped. And that's what these guys are. And this has been one of my, by far one of my best glide baits in the upper Midwest area. And I think it has to do just with the profile of it being more of a bluegill, which is the main forage in this area. So I've got a whole bunch of these. They recently came out with the Bear Claw. So the Bear Claw is a big eight inch glide bait, just a, you know, a beast of a guy that I know guys are catching a lot of really big bass on, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm excited to throw this for muskie up in my neck of the woods. Now, you know, when you get an eight inch glide up here, it's kind of too big in my opinion for largemouth. For muskie, this is what I wanna be throwing and it generates a lot of strikes. So I happen to live on a really good muskie fishery and I catch a pile of muskie on my big bass glide bait. So I'm very excited to have that for here. I'm also excited to have it for when I do end up going down south to places like Toledo Bend or Sam Rayburn where a big glide bait does generate 10 pound largemouth. But this bait hasn't been out long at all now. And if you go to the uh, Legrady Lures Instagram page, the number of big bass being caught on it, pretty ridiculous. Very unique sound. They all look like a piece of artwork when you look at how beautiful they are. Uh, to me, I just I just love them. They're, they're a very different sounding, different feeling glide bait than a lot of what's out there. But LaGrady Lures love those things. Uh, another one that I've had a lot of good luck with here, this is the Biggs. Uh, this is the Biggs Custom Glide. They're a very different profile, extremely thin in the front. I have talked about these on the channel as well in the past, but I've got a bunch of these now and I've been having some good luck with them too. Uh, a good, you know, a, a relatively inexpensive custom glide bait compared to some of the other ones that are on the market, but I gotta give a shout out to them. A lot of guys on the professional trailer catching them on bigs glide baits too. Uh, they have several different sizes. This happens to be my favorite. I think it's just the six inch size. Uh, very natural looking paint jobs. Again, has a different running style and I think it has to do with how narrow that bait is compared to other ones that are out there. And then the last one is one that I've been trying to get for a while. I have a couple of these. Uh, I think this is the third or fourth one I have. And you gotta love, you gotta love like your glide bait makers because when you get a box like this you know it's a glide generally if you get a if you get a bear claw they come in a box that kind of looks like a donut box which is pretty cool so this one one of the more well-knowns this is a kgb chad shad this is they had a, a drop back in march where i was finally able to get one i've been trying for a while they're they're one of the baits that if you don't see the drop happen on their Instagram page or wherever, you generally don't get it. But that's a seven inch Chad Shad, uh, just their, just a green and purple, uh, pearl Shad color, nothing super crazy, but this is actually like one of my more preferred just Shad color baits for down south, especially if you got a little off colored water. But probably right now, one of the most uh, well known glide baits out there uh, i would say most people would say it's definitely one of the top fish producing baits out there so for me you know like i said i think this is my third or fourth one so i'm happy to add to the collection as i continue to throw more glides i kind of the bpt is not ideal for glide baits like a total weight format is not ideal for it but uh, I still do get the opportunity to fish them quite a bit. And even though I don't throw them in the tournament that much, I do throw glide baits. I almost always have one or two glide baits rigged up in practice because they have such good drawing power. Like you'll go through an area and think that area is dead and then you go back through it with a glide bait and you'll have fish pulling from everywhere. Now they don't always commit to it, but it shows you there's a bunch more fish in that area and then you can try to figure out other ways to catch them. So for me, I still throw them in practice, even though I don't generally throw them much in the BPT tournaments, but they still definitely have a time and place, especially in a five fish format, 100% that way. But 
Anyways, guys, check all these out. I'll put links in the video description for uh, you guys to go and check them out if you want. I'm telling you, I don't think you'd be disappointed with any of these. These are ones that I have proven myself have very good fish catching ability and ones that I've had a lot of good success with. So thanks to all of you who are watching. Let me know in the comments section, what are some of your favorite glides? Because chances are I'll probably end up buying some of those of the ones that you recommend if I don't already have them. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Support some small custom bait makers if you're looking for a couple of new glide baits. Otherwise, stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.